today's modern digital era, we can witness the impact that AI has created on our world. Starting from healthcare to finance to transport, AI has played a huge role in developing these sectors. But do you know what is more interesting? It's when AI contributes to the field of art and can generate some really interesting art pieces just like this. And you know what is more even cooler? The part is, if I tell you that you can generate these kind of images with just a single prompt. And the thing which makes it all possible is called Midjourney. Midjourney is the latest AI model that combines art with technology blended with human creativity to produce stunning and unique art pieces. This tool became a game changer for a lot of content creators and many of them are using it to either grow their Instagram pages or to generate YouTube thumbnails and many of the top companies are getting in on the action using it for all sort of design work. Now if you are interested in exploring more about this field of art and technology then you just clicked on the right video. Stay tuned till the end of the video to have a brief knowledge about this amazing AI tool called Midjourney. But before we begin, kindly consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from Edureka. Also, visit the Edureka website for training and certification courses, the link to which is in the description box below. On July 12, 2022, the Midjourney image generation platform entered the beta. Midjourney Inc. is the company that owns this AI platform and was founded by David Holtz, who was previously the co-founder of Leap Motion. This company has been working on improving its algorithm, releasing new model versions every few months. On December 21, 2023, the alpha iteration of version 6 was released, which can be considered to generate the most advanced and detailed images out of all its previous versions. But now, the question comes that how does it work to generate such realistic and detailed images? This AI model uses machine learning algorithms to analyze and interpret the data. Now, this data can be in the form of text, image, audio or video. And then using this data, the algorithm generates new images by analyzing the patterns of the input data. And one of the most common deep learning algorithm it uses is Generative Adversarial Networks, also known as GAN. This algorithm contains two main entities, the generator and the discriminator. From random noise, the generator generates an image which is evaluated by the discriminator that whether it's a real or a fake image. After evaluating, the discriminator will send a feedback to the generator and using this feedback, the generator will increase its efficiency to generate more real images. The cycle will go on and unless the generator generates an image which the discriminator will fail to evaluate as a fake image and the generator will end up generating a completely new image. Another deep learning algorithm that it uses is Recurrent Neural Network or RNN. It is a class of artificial intelligence model designed to process sequential data by leveraging its inherent memory function. It uses a feedback loop using which it remembers the previous inputs and then it uses that information to generate new pieces of data. These algorithms work more efficiently when combined with human creativity. Now, after knowing how it works, let's put our knowledge into practice. So, turn on your computer screens and let's start with mid-journey. So, let us start with the tutorial part for the mid-journey. So, first of all, open your browser and type mid-journey. So, over here, the first link is the official link for mid-journey. And once you click on that link, this kind of interface is going to appear in front of you. Then, click on join the beta. Now, in order to access the mid-journey, you should have a Discord account. And once you verify the Discord account, you'll be getting access to mid-journey. So, I accept the invite. Now, if I go down and click any of the newbies. So, over here, you can check out the community that is using the mid-journey right now. So, if we go down and there is a separate way of providing a prompt to the mid-journey. So in order to provide a prompt, we should use slash imagine and over here, you can see the prompt. And now I can write any prompt into it. So let's give a simple prompt and let's give lion with a crown in a sunset. Over here, you can see that it's waiting to start. And by the time, you can see the other images that was generated by other people in this community. 
So our 15% is done. We'll still wait. And our image is in the progress. It's 45% done. We'll still wait. And you can see the other images that are being generated continuously. And that's our image, the lion with the crown in a sunset. Now, to be honest, I like the third image. So I'm going to click on U3. And over here, you can check your image. I click on the image, open in browser. And from here, I can download my image. Yeah, that's downloaded. Now, the mid journey comes up with a subscription. So in order to check that, put slash subscribe. Enter. Go to manage accounts. And over here, you can see the subscription plans. So we are currently using the standard plan that is active. But with others, you can subscribe to any of the plans and use the mid journey. So this was a tutorial part for the mid journey. Now let's move forward. Now, after all this, a question comes that will mid journey eventually replace human artists? Let's understand. In the year 2022, a mid journey image called Theater de Opera Spatial won the first prize in the digital art competition at the 2022 Colorado State Fair. Jason Allen, who wrote the prompt, led mid journey to generate the image. And then he printed the image onto a canvas and entered it into the competition using the name Jason M. Allen via Mid Journey. The two categorical judges were unaware that Mid Journey used AI to generate images. Although they later said that even if they had known this, they would have awarded Allen the top prize anyways. Another incident took place in Italy. The leading newspaper Correra della Sera published a comic created with Mid Journey, which was written by Vanni Sanatoni in the August 2022. In December 2022, the creator Amar Rishi used Mid Journey to generate a large number of images, from which he chose 13 for the book titled Alice and Sparkle. This book features a young girl who built a robot that becomes conscious. Now, all these incidents tell us that humans and AIs are not enemies or competitors. They work together to bring a new revolution. Yeah, in some sectors, we have to agree that AI can work more efficiently as compared to humans. But we also have to see that there is always a human brain behind the AI. These AI tools, when blended with human creativity, amplify the quality of the output. And for that, all we need to do is to learn these AI tools and then put our creativity into it. And then very soon, we will be witnessing the progress we make together. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!